Cern Exudist here for blue collar prepping. And here you can see my stove. That's the residue that's left over. Ultimate Survival Technology stove and fuel tab. It burned nice and high, about that high. Very bright orange. Uh, about five, six minutes. It's got a little breeze out here, but it's nothing like cataclysmic or apocalyptic or anything. So I would probably use a fuel tab as a starter and then use whatever I could find nearby, you know, branches, twigs, whatever. Now, begs the question with this, this is adjustable on the wings for whatever you, you know, block the flame, protect it from the wind. Also, it says, sounds like I need a cup. Put some water in, boil some water, use an MRE, what have you. So that'll be the next search thing. So we'll see what we got. So just a little follow-up. So the UST pocket stove, it was pretty cool. The fuel tab took a little bit of effort to get lit. It burned hot, relatively speaking, for something the size of a big fat stamp or, you know, a tenth of a cube of ice. Uh, pretty impressed with it. It's certainly going to go in the bag. Put it in a Ziploc bag and all the fuel tabs will fit right inside the box here. Just throw it right in the stove. It'd be perfect. So... I'm certainly very happy for the $7 that I spent, maybe total, to go into my everyday bag or my get home bag from the car. You know, it is what it is. So hopefully this summer or in an emergency, we'll have some more to report back, but pretty happy. Anyway, this is Discerning Shooters for blue collar prepping. Be good, be safe. If you can't be safe, be good and dangerous.